Oh, the red light. Hello, and welcome to the iShow News. For more information, visit www.i-showsinc.com. For our first story tonight, we'll go out to our field reporter, Ask a Cody. Uh, sorry, I mean uh, Cody Reed, who is at Higley High School's crosswalk. Cody? Yes, this is Ask, I mean Cody, out here by the new Higley High crosswalk. And it leaves from the school to the seminary, and it's just been put in for the safety of our students. Didn't this go up last year? No, it didn't. You're, you're wrong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. Huh. You know what, fine. You know what, I'm going back to the studio. Cody out. Okay, man. Well, to our next story. In Northwest Phoenix, there was a teacher riot. It wasn't much of a riot, no one was hurt. It was just a protest because salaries were cut in half. The superintendent said this. Okay, I only have time for one question because I really don't like these things. So, um, let's go with you. Yes, uh, I'm Cody Reed from iNews. I had a question. Why did you cut the salary for the pay of teachers? I was going to become a teacher, but now I don't want to be one anymore. Why did I cut the salaries? Why did I cut the paychecks? Um, hold on a sec, let me check my notes here. What? My, my agent didn't tell me this. Hey, what do I say? Okay, sorry about that. Um, I cut the salaries because I believed that it was more important to focus on paying the students, not the teachers because the teacher should be forced to go there. That's my whole philosophy. But you know what? I have a, I'm married, as you can tell. My wife is calling me and telepathically, of course. So thank you for your time. Teachers are expected to return to work next week. Dang, that was a lame fight. I mean, no violence? What are they talking about? What is the world coming to? Okay, anyways, we're gonna go to the weather with Johnny Raincloud. So, what do I do now? Okay, yeah. So, here's the weather with Johnny Raincloud. Now, today, we have these uh, little raindrops. They're moving in through um, Oregon. And the, the sunny face is pretty cool. And so, like, the sun, the sun shine is moving through the west. And here, we have this little cloud with rain moving into the Kansas area of the Midwest, pushing out both ways. We come over here to the east side, these squiggly lines, I think, mean wind. And it's moving this way towards England, and we have these high and low fronts whoosh, whoosh, meeting together. And we have this hurricane down in Florida, Hurricane Bob is moving up toward this area. But I don't care, I don't live there. Now, Want to see the screen change? Now, today we're going to be illustrating what it's going to be like today in Arizona. Hot, just like this girl I know. Now, today we also have your seven day forecast. The seven day forecast changes a lot because we have this cold front moving in through the valley. And we have our highs up here and our lows down there. And uh, let's see what we have here. Um, look at our highs. What the heck? Now, look at all lows, they're even more crazy. Look at that. Something's wrong with our, with our weather. Your highs are up here, your lows are down here, and that's your weather, and now we're gonna go to Alejandro for sports. Alejandro, and 
We are here at the new Arizona Basketball Stadium because it's pretty cool. It's a new stadium that just opened up and tonight we're going to have the playoff uh, opening game for the stadium. It will be the Arizona Suns versus the Utah Jazz. It's going to be an exciting game. I'll be here tonight to be covering the whole game. But for right now, we have the scores from last night from all the games. And in baseball, we had the Diamondbacks versus the uh, uh, Giants, or should I say, Los Gigantes. And it was 17 us, 7 them. Oh, smiley face for us. Only face for them. And the football, there was the Cardinals versus the Raiders. And it was tw negative 23 to 0. We lost. How can we do that? And enough about the Cardinals. And the basketball, we had the Phoenix Suns versus the LA Lakers. And it was 119 to 118. Or should I say, Ciento y. Yes, I don't even know my own language. So that was an exciting game. It was very close. And that'll be it for tonight. And uh, remember to watch the game from the Suns against the Lakers. I mean the Jazz tonight. What? I'm on? What was that? Sports? Okay, alright. Thank you, Alejandro, for the sports. Thanks for watching the iShow News tonight. Visit us next week at www.i-shows.com slash inews.aspx. Thanks for watching and have a great night.